I uh, used to have a very black and white personality. A very, I would get really e extreme and involved in things, whether it be religion, whether it be vegetarianism, whether it be um, a, s a certain sport or. It was just, it, w it was very, when I did something, I did it 150%, and I was like a bright comet that lit up the sky and then slowly burned out. And uh, one of my friends used to always say to me, he used to say, my friend, the middle path, the middle way. And at the time, I was like, no, no, what I'm doing is right. Well, you know, this is, this is uh, the way to live, and I was going to preach it to the world and sing it to the bleachers. And one thing that is, is, as I look back on all those things, one, I think they were very valuable. I learned a lot and I grew a lot. Um, and secondly, I think it's a sign of uh, immaturity. I was, I was just you know, immature and even more than that, I would say imbalanced. And when we get in those stages of really black or white personalities, I think it, the ego has a tendency just to latch on to the black, to the white, and to make that its identity. So we take it to an extreme and end up alienating uh, people around us. I, I remember one guy, um, his daughter was visiting uh, from, uh, she lived in another country and she came back to the States to visit. And she got really involved in environmentalism. And he, one day he was water, hosing down his uh, front driveway to, to clean up all the dirt and stuff. And she was just irate. How could you do that? How could you waste so much water just to clean the driveway? You should use a broom or sweep it away or use you know, something, something along those lines. And her intensity was, to him, such a turnoff that he really didn't want to hear anything more she had, she had to say. Uh, about environmentalism. And I think that's what we do is that we get so black that other people, they're not, we expect them to be at that level or to be interested in being black or white, extreme white or white. Maybe those are bad colors to choose, extreme purple. And uh, we expect them to understand, to get it, to wake up, to see the reality. And you, you see a lot of that on YouTube and in a lot of the video comments. You know, people are very black and white about, you know, the conspiracy theories and how government is to blame for all the woes. And, you know, we, there's, there's just all kinds of really purple and yellow issues that get people riled up. And today I watched a movie called Farmingville, a really interesting uh, documentary about, it was it happened in, I think, in the mid-90s. There was this, and it's really relevant today with, with what's going on in Arizona, there was this struggle between uh, immigrants. It was this town of 15,000 people, and about 1,500 immigrants came to that community, Mexican immigrants, looking for work. And it was just, it's, the Farmingville was strategically located in New York that uh, made it the ideal spot for people to find, for day laborers to find work. And it created this whole powder keg of extreme human emotions, black or white, where one side of the fence said, you know, they have a right to be here. They, they're honest people. They just want to, you know, honest day's work. And uh, what's the problem? And started labeling people that opposed them being here as racist. And so they took this very, you know, white approach or extreme approach. And the other side was, no, they're ruining our community. They're going to rape our children. They're causing crime. And the kids are in, are in fear of, of walking down the street. And just this extreme exaggeration. And when you get emotion infused um, and people become passionate and really emotional. Logic and reason seems to fly out the window, and people can't understand each other's point of view. Everything is just black, purple, or yellow, and there's no gray. There's no in, in the middle, and the people become enraged, impassioned, and it created a, just this real, total chaos. And it was a situation that with a little empathy 
a little understanding, a, l a lot more gray. I think both groups could have come together and found a solution that worked for everybody. Um, and I see how easy it is and how I've come across people, I've been there myself, to be black or white. And what happens when we become black or white is that we become self-righteous, we alienate other people, we really feed the ego, <clears throat> and um, it's a detriment to our cause. You know, if uh, you know some people take uh, PETA for example, the animal uh, rights group, they are so swung to one extreme that they alienate the very people that they need to reach. You know, they take it to such an extreme that people say, you know what, everything they say is crazy. And in this movie, there was this heated debate between uh, this one woman that wanted to get rid of the illegal aliens and the other uh, guy who said they have a right to work here. Um, you know, they're needed, their work is needed, and they're having this debate. And neither side would budge on seeing the other point, uh, person's point of view. One of the most effective things you can do when you're in a disagreement with someone is to validate something that they're they're uh, arguing about or, or uh, validate what they believe in. And I'm not saying insincerely, but, you know, both sides had valid points. And, you know, in, in this argument, if the, the one guy or the lady would have said, you know what, that's a really good point, and I understand why you're concerned. And I understand why you're, you're you know, concerned that people aren't paying taxes or or that it's creating, you know, might raise the crime rate, or whatever the case might be, it, you now are able to connect with people. But what they were doing is, da, 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 you're, this is this, and you're wrong, and this is why you're wrong, and then she'd go back, and you're wrong. And I never understand, you know, when you have these protests, people that get in these really heated, passionate shouting uh, matches. You, it never, you never get through to people. And there's always something admirable about the person who can remain calm, collected, and use reason, use common sense, use logic. And taking this movie, and then I always try to say, okay, well, how can that apply to my life? How can that apply to the people who uh, watch my videos? How is this practical in everyday situations? And it's completely practical with our, our mates, our spouses, our people, our coworkers, our bosses, is a little bit of empathy, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of, oh, okay, you know what, I, could under, I don't necessarily need to agree, but I can understand why you feel that way. And then also to diffuse the black or white nature within us, and to take the middle path. What you find is, one, the, long, the taking the middle path, the longevity of it is incredible. That when you are not uh, so extreme, you're able to maintain um, a steady course over many miles. It's between the tortoise and the hare. Um, there's many people that were in, that when I was involved in these groups, myself included, that you'd see their faces for a month or two months, and then they would just fall by the wayside. You wouldn't hear from them again. And they'd be rah, 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 hoo, hoo, hoo. And then there was the other people that just kind of steadily continued uh, along their course. They weren't extreme one way or the other. And those people, that those are the people that lasted the longest. And it's the same thing when we start anything. You know, an exercise routine, when we start eating healthy. It's the slow, steady, consistent progress day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year that really has the best results. We might look at the person that is extreme in the short term and say, well, look what they're able to do. But really, do they have the longevity? So talked about many, many different topics uh, in this video, and uh, I recommend checking out the movie and seeing it from a, a neutral party. There's something really wonderful about a person who has the ability to see both points of view and to empathize with both points of view and to try to find a common ground. 
Thanks for listening.